It's TV Nation with Michael Moore. Tonight on TV Nation, Michael Moore goes to Washington to see how much democracy he can buy for $5,000. Over the years when visiting our nation's capital, I've noticed that everyone seems to have their own lobbyists. If you sell fertilizer, you have a voice in Washington. Don't you wish quail had spelled fertilizer wrong instead of potato? Uh, yes, that would have been nice publicity, you're right. If you're into cigars, here's your man. Oh, sorry. If there's a bill to prop up cookies and crackers, there's a lobbyist. Remember when Bush went to Japan and mm. threw up mm. the Prime Minister? Mm. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Was there a scary moment where you felt, oh my God, he's been eating cookies and crackers? Mm. <laughs> Even the former members of Congress have their own lobby. I suppose you have a lot of your meetings in jail. <laughs> if all these groups get what they want thanks to a little grease, well, why not TV Nation? The problem is we have no access, but we know how to get it. And help was as close as the Yellow Pages. Meet Bill Chasey, our new TV Nation lobbyist. You can't tell your story unless you can get in the door. And if you already have your foot in the door, it makes it a lot easier to get the door open. This is my, my little domain. Capitol Police and waiters and the restaurants and the members seeing them on a daily basis. Uh, we'd like to get some things for our show. You know, one little line in the tax code that gives us a tax break. Those of us who work on, on our show. In the media? Or just your no, show? No, not all the media. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Just this show. If there's an incentive involved that's mm -hmm. going to increase the economy, right. then obviously it's a worthwhile effort. We gave Bill a check for $5,000 and set off to get ourselves a 50% tax break. Good. It's a pleasure doing business with you. All right, good. So we'll go over to Let's Capitol to Hill now and go to work. get to work. All right. This particular approach. First, we went to meet the congressman who chairs the committee, which gives the tax breaks, Representative Charles Rangel of New York. My chairman, my chairman. Great. Okay. Congressman Rangel, what we're thinking is that the tax code is so thick, right? You must have a copy of it around here somewhere, yeah. right? I mean, it's thick, right? right? To get one line inserted, right? This has to be an industry-wide piece of legislation. We could not just single but out then, the show. But then that would be giving up a lot of tax dollars. Uh, you know, that the federal coffers need. This way, by singling out just one show, you see, it gives us a break, keeps the other tax money coming I in from all you. the other so shows. So what you are saying, that we should give preferential treatment to your particular show. Right. There's no violence on the show. All right. Okay? It, well, it, what it, we have to do yeah. is see this show, get an evaluation of this show, oh, and we find all of America saying that's the type of entertainment we want, and that's the type we like to give incentives so that other people would do it, you come back. Next, we crashed a big Capitol Hill party in search of more support. We have a bill we're trying to get passed. Yikes. All right. <laughs> Let's see what it is. It's to amend the Internal Revenue Code, and all we want to do is just one, add one sentence that would give all of us on our TV show a 50% tax break. We're, we don't pollute. No violence, and we believe in everything that Senator Chafee believes in. How do you know that? Well, we, whatever he believes in, we'll believe in. Do you think the Senator tough. would support this bill? Doubt it, no. I don't think he would. This is Michael. Michael Moore. Wait, he's, he's looking for some special earmarking for the crew of, the, of uh, TV Nation. You know, we figured the IRS, the tax code, the law, it's so thick, right, that we can sneak this one right through. One line, right. just one line in there for us. I think it's going to be a tough sell, a real tough sell. But who was maybe a little bit supportive of it? Nobody. Absolutely nobody. Nobody. And it wasn't looking good for our tax break. So I asked Bill, what exactly could we get for $5,000 in a democracy? My suggestion is that we do a, a resolution. Bill proposed that we line up sponsors in Congress for a resolution declaring TV Nation Day all throughout America. It was an inspired idea. One day each year across this great land of ours to celebrate TV Nation Day. A simple spot on the calendar, somewhere between Flag Day and Yom Kippur. A time to reflect on what America would be like without TV Nation. A day to appreciate the little things that make TV Nation sort of special. 
and deserving of an additional 13 episode order from NBC. TV Nation Day. Bill was a genius. I'm going to introduce you to a couple of the key people. Mm -hmm. Bill said we needed a powerful sponsor to get TV Nation Day through Congress. I said, let's get somebody who really understands us and won't cost us much money. Meet Congressman Howard Coble, Republican from North Carolina. I am. A, I consume pork and brains for breakfast. No. Oh, yeah. Entertainment is one of the key products the U.S. produces. We believe we're providing a, a, a real good service, a, a good magazine show that focuses on, you know, happy things. And we would like uh, to get actually is um, a resolution passed that you know declares TV Nation Day. That we all win with that with that sort of format. Thank you, card. Oh, very nice. Huh? Twenty dollars inside. No, Twenty dollars. A little walking around money. Well, let me give that back to you. As much as I'd like to keep it. Salad shooter for you. Oh, great. One ticket to Conan O'Brien. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> Good. Okay, we have a, a flag of the United Kingdom and a Duncan Hines moist deluxe cake mix. Oh my good. We had our first sponsor. <laughs> Bill was right. TV Nation Day was going to be much better. It's a very uh, secure area, so lots of cops over here. Oh. Congressman Duke Cunningham from oh, California, right. from San Diego. Right. This is Top, Top Gun. Gun, right? Long time ago. Yeah, you, the so, film Top Gun was based on only parts. This is a program called TV Nation. Uh, it's going to play to about 40 million people. You think? That's right. Every week on NBC. Fantastic. Yeah. Hey, Mel. We met up with Congressman Mel Hancock, but he was more interested in his bill than ours. Uh, well, my amendment today is to prevent the uh, uh, public education from uh, using uh, federal funds advocating the homosexual lifestyle in the, uh, in the public education. So there's a newspaper article, and inside is the type of literature that they've been passing out. Do you mind if I keep this, by the way? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I've got them Thank you. Yeah, I'll okay. You I want to we'll investigate. Want to investigate this? Okay. All right. How about if we gave you an NBC hat? <laughs> well, I, I like the hat. I like the hat. You like? Thank you can have much. it. Thank I've you. got a collection. All right. Thank how about this? Much. A Lady Remington. No, wait. That's not. Well, no, wait. Huh? I don't need one of those. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Compliments. You know, bribe is such an oh, ugly teaching. word. These were gifts. All right. TV Nation Day. Congressman Waxman. Michael Moore. Hi, how are you? Hi. Let's replay that one again in slow motion. Congressman Waxman spots TV Nation's Michael Moore approaching him. Having seen Roger and me, he knows what to do. But before he can make an end run toward the sideline, the 235-pound tackle from Flint Community College does a fake block, forcing the congressman to concede defeat. Hi, how are you? Right. I want you to support TV Nation Day. Well, it sounds okay. like a good idea. Okay, thank you very I don't much. Know what it is, but it sounds good. Well, that's all we need is your support. <laughs> we don't need to know what it's about. <laughs> thank you. Things were going so well, we went back to Congressman Rangel to get him on board. Oh, thanks so much. Thanks, thanks a lot. Really care. appreciate thanks. it. Thanks. Good luck. It was time for me to go back to New York, leaving my lobbyist to go in for the kill. Finally, after about a month, Bill called and said he had some good news and that I should turn on C-SPAN to see my bill being introduced to Congress. I thank the Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm introducing a resolution declaring August 16, 1994 as TV Nation Day. The resolution which I hope my colleagues will support will praise TV Nation for creating new jobs in this country and improving our balance of trade. It is a civics lesson presented in an exciting style, a program that shows how our government works. This show will be positive and upbeat and will not dwell on the negative aspects of today's society. And although TV Nation has no sex or violence and does not invade the personal privacy of people, it is still entertaining and informative. And that alone, Mr. Speaker, is praiseworthy achievement. I thank the Speaker. <laughs> it's amazing what $5,000 can buy you in a democracy. And now our bill is before Congress. Please write or phone your member of Congress today asking them to support the TV Nation bill. Do it. Do it for yourself. Do it for your country. Do it because we spent five grand.